Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Noah from Funlock.com. Smile, you're on TV. Well, not really. But uh, I just want to say thanks to the folks at Samsung for lending me this handy dandy full HD camcorder. See, it says right there, full HD, 1080p. So we can uh, experiment with doing some phone dog videos in HD. So let us know what you think in the comments. HD, is it worth it? Does it matter? Do you care? Let us know. All right, let's get on to the dog fight. What's going on, everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com, and I have a question. What do you get when you take a smartphone and jam it into a uh, tweenified messaging phone format? Apparently, the answer is the Nokia Surge. This is the new uh, S60 powered smartphone with, uh, you know, for Nokia, kind of a crazy style with the side slider thing and the full QWERTY and everything. It's an AT&T phone. It's, uh, it's being, you know, marketed kind of as a, a messaging phone. $79.99 on contract after rebate launch price. And uh, it's got social networking stuff on it. It's got JuiceCaster. It's got, you know, the GPS and the mail and the 2 megapixel camera and all that stuff. But it's got the guts of a smartphone, the S60 platform, same thing that powers all the high-end Nokia devices. I'm uh, not sure exactly which ed edition and feature pack and stuff. But it's the same basic uh, platform, but on this wacky feature phone, you know, messaging phone kind of form factor here. So let's check it out. Thanks to the folks at Nokia for sending this one over. And uh, again, only $79.99 on contract um, after rebate and stuff, so you know, cheaper than your average... Uh, Smartphone, a little cheaper than the E71X. Well, we'll get back to the phone in a second there. Let's um, sum this up. Full HTML browser with Flash support. Can't say that about the iPhone, right? But you can't say it about the, uh, at least the HTC Hero. But uh, anyway, here's your battery. You get a battery, which is good. 1500 milliamp hour. We'll put that in in a second. You get a charger. A little dusty charger. You get a charger. You get a getting started guide. You get a getting started CD. You get um, a piece of paper with a big goofy thumbs up on it. 30 days of AT&T Navigator. And uh, there you go. Let's get back to the phone itself. We'll open it up from the uh, from the back first. I mean, we'll check out the back first, rather, for the purposes of opening it up to put the battery in, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, no SIM card in here. I'll have to get an AT&T SIM card in there. Um, the SD card slot is, micro SD card slot is under the battery cover, not under the battery itself, but under the battery cover. Looks like you don't get a... Well, is it actually? No, I don't think... Yeah, it is. It's under the battery cover. The cutouts are up there. Looks like you don't get a card with the phone. So it's interesting because it's a small display for, um, for a full-on smartphone. You know, uh, physically smaller than you'd find on a Nokia you know, E or N series device. Trying to get this other little film off there. There we go. But interesting, it makes for a compact for form factor, a little more square, a little more squarish uh, than your typical cell phone. I bet if I open this, I could just type U N U S. There we go. They usually don't have Oakland, so I gotta go San Francisco. It's not 9 a.m. It's not whatever date I just said it was, but I don't care anymore. So here you go. It's uh, the the S60 platform, similar uh, to the Nokia E71X on AT&T with kind of AT&T. I was gonna say AT&Tized, AT&T customized uh, menus and icons and stuff there. Change the phone language. No. Quick personalization makes your phone follow your style. I would like my phone to follow my style. Give my phone a name. Crab Surge. Let's 
Well, that's kind of a nice little guide to helping you set up your ringtones and all that kind of stuff. Can I change the theme? Uh, I would like to go black minimal. No, I wouldn't. I would like to go music notes. No, I'm going back to black minimal. And my background image? Oh, there's no images on here. Alright, well that's fine. Take your email into use with quick and easy setup. Alright, enough of the setup. Let's talk about the phone itself. Um, in interesting form factor. I mean, it's definitely... Huh. Definitely interesting. Um, you've got a standard headphone jack or a two and a half? I'm thinking this might be a two and a half. Yeah, it is a two and a half. Three and a half doesn't fit in there. So two and a half millimeter headphone jack. And uh, there's your, your charging port underneath the little cap there. Be nice if this had a three and a half messaging phone with a full headphone jack. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, two megapixel camera on the back. Another piece of film. Ooh, did I just scratch it with my thumbnail? Oh, no. I scratched my thumbnail. Now, the phone is tougher than my thumbnail. That's always a good sign. Um, you get uh, on the front, you've got your kind of standard D-pad layout with the two soft keys and the uh, send and cancel keys. But then over on the side here, you've got your Series 60 men, uh, button, and then shortcuts, it looks like, for messaging and for, I'm guessing that's for the web, at and web service. And then your full QWERTY down here. And it looks like the keyboard is actually a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice layout and, and pretty nice size here. I like the four wide spacebar, dual shift keys. Very interesting. Um, yeah, I don't, it's not going to let me, I'm not connected, so that's not going to work, so whatever. Uh, and then a quick, uh, quick tour around the menu here. You've got your AT&T GPS, it's got a voice-guided GPS system. You've got your IM and email, AT&T Music, MediaNet, Media Mall, or AT&T's online services. Um, somewhere in here, we should have... Social networking stuff, right? Games and apps. The D pad might be a little bit kind of funny to press the inside of. Moba TV, see, I hit the D pad choice, there's a little lag there. I did not mean to launch Moba TV. So. Uh, but you get pre-installed here. Guitar Hero, Asphalt, Asphalt 4, uh, I play bowling, guessing these are probably demos, but who knows, Monopoly, etc., etc., Wicked Mobile, and then there's Juicecaster, your social networking app. So, we will, we'll get in depth with this later. This is just your first hands-on unboxing kind of thing. Interesting device, though. Uh, definitely, you know, the form factor, a little bit wide, um, and a lot of space around the bezel here, obviously. Too bad they couldn't make the display larger. But, uh, you know, the flip side, it's this wide because it accommodates the nice roomy keyboard, which does seem pretty nice and pretty roomy. And we'll do a quick test. Yeah, that seems pretty good on on first uh, first type here. I'm liking the keyboard. I like the way it's kind of separated into three three areas here. I like the the quad wide um, space bar, and uh, it's reminiscent of the Nokia E75 smartphone, just uh, a little more compact, a little narrower than the E75, uh, perhaps uh, maybe a little deeper this way, but a little bit uh, narrower. The E75 is a little bit longer. Anyway, there you go. First look at the Nokia Surge 6790. 
for AT&T, seventy nine ninety nine on contract launch price. It's a smartphone that looks like a messaging phone. Is it the first smartphone for tweens? I don't know. I'm not a tween. I'm an old guy. At any rate, I am Noah from PhoneDog.com. We'll have much, much more on the Surge and all the new AT&T phones, the new Nokia phones, the new messaging phones, the new smartphones, all the new phones all summer long and then some at PhoneDog.com. Till next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.